Star Wars Rebels, Brawler Commanders. Desperate to contact a rebel command on Yavin 4, the Ghost Crew pirates a mining vehicle with long-range communications gear, but the Empire eventually arrives to spoil their plans. As always with my rebel reviews, I point out my likes and dislikes of the episode. Starting off with my likes. Number 1. The Small Trandoshian Captain, Sivor. He really surprised me. At first I was thinking he was simply going to be a character put in the episode simply for comedy relief. And that was the case at first. However, afterwards we see him become sort of a threat, even threatening to blow up the crawler with everyone inside. And then when Ezra does confront him at the end, Sivor dies a pretty painful but quick death. Was not expecting to see that end like that at all. Number 2. It was nice to see Zeb do something by himself in an episode again. The last few episodes he's been merely a background character, not really doing much or anything of importance. And when he was, he'd always be with another main character. This time he actually had to act alone, and he put up a good fight against a Trandoshan guard, which was fairly entertaining to see. I also really enjoyed watching Zeb casually walk into the storage closet to silence Sivor, only to casually walk out again. That part was good too. Number 3. Surprised to say, but the mining guild communication scene that played out very close to the scene from A New Hope, where Han Solo pretends to be a stormtrooper over the comlink, wasn't all that bad. Sure, the scene wasn't as good, but it was a little funny, and I found myself liking it more than I thought I would. Ezra did give a pretty good impression of Sivor, and Sivor's reaction was pretty hilarious as well. Now as for my dislikes. Number 1. Okay, so I complained about not seeing a greater Lothal rebel cell presence yet in the series, and it looks like I got exactly that in this episode. However, I was expecting to see real Lothal Rebels, whom actually look like, well, Lothal Rebels. Not Rebel Alliance looking Rebels. Which was the case here. Why not just give them Lothal outfits like Ryder has and, oh wait, yeah, I forgot, budget cuts. Number 2. Rook. Kind of was expecting to see him here. But he wasn't and that was disappointing. However, to be fair, after thinking about it, I guess I don't really see him working out in this episode. As if he was here, I'm sure it wouldn't end on a happy note for the Rebels. So with that said, he better have a pretty good damn part in the next episode to make up for his absence here. Overall, the episode wasn't too bad. Yeah, it was enjoyable, but when compared to the previous episode, it did feel a tad bit weaker. The stakes here just didn't seem as high, but at the same time, I guess that wasn't the point as it might be just a breather for the audience before we get to the next episode. And having said that, the ending of this episode does hype us up for an intense rebel invasion to Lothal for next week, which may likely be the last we see of the planet anymore on the show. And no, I don't think we're getting a good ending in the next episode either. But now I want to know what you all thought and whether you agree or disagree with my likes and dislikes. Let me know in the comments down below. But that'll do it for my review. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.